Hello, I'm with Steven from HP Additive Manufacturing, and they have some really, really cool stuff to show us today. And it all starts out over here. They actually have some really fascinating uh, materials to actually work with, and this is all 3D printed over here. The HP Multi-Jet Fusion is not your grandfather's printer by any means. It's able to produce some really, really interesting uh, materials with really cool properties. All right, so Steven is one of the engineers behind um, part of this thing and he's going to give us a better explanation of like why this is as cool as it is and why this TPU print is actually as exciting as I think it is because this is actually really exciting and we're going to explain why. Thank you so much. So one of the really cool things that we can do is we can take an, a sample of a foam and characterize that foam. We can then take that characterization and match it to some of the engineered lattices that HP has developed. Those different lattices can vary from different materials or different beam shapes or size or thickness. And then we can match what that original foam was very closely. Once we've characterized it and matched it, we can then exceed what those properties would be. Whether it's energy absorption or energy return or recyclability, we can improve properties via engineered design. One of those examples is this pickleball. This pickleball having a loud noise uh, by having a tuned engineered lattice, now we can have something that's very quiet. Compared to the original. And as you guys can tell, there's a huge difference in the audio thing. Imagine you're playing pickleball with your friends and uh, you have your like set up in your uh, apartment or something like that. You're probably going to be limited to mostly daytime hours. However, with something that's specifically designed to make much less noise, you're probably not going to get that noise complaint after 8 p.m. So solutions like this, you may not think are all around us, but these type of things like exist and they're very practical and they're very helpful. So whether you're having this type of material inside of a new luxury vehicle, like a headrest for a car, or if it's inside the, the pickleball that you're putting into your gym bag, these materials, it's innovative. Like, as you can see, the structure is really, really complex. They're able to get either like a super kind of like squishy kind of effect from that all the way up to like very, very rigid uh, prints as well. It kind of works in a similar way as um, some of those laser 3D printers kind of work in which it kind of puts down a layer of material. But in this case, it's actually putting down a layer of, was it white TPU or something? White powder? A white powder that basically they then put black ink on top of and it's inside of a uh, heated area and it basically fuses the material once it's added to the other material. So basically once the two things are combined, it basically reaches that threshold in which they're kind of like become solidified.